I ever won. So, you know, my name, according to my birth certificate, is a brand name. I've been abused, sexually abused, mentally abused, and people did some kind of crazy family planning, and it was not my ideal, you know. Someone claims that they're a genius and they're smart and know how to control and manipulate people, and I was abused by whatever it was that they did, you know. It was crazy, you know. So, you know, I know you're tired of hearing the same old story, but, you know, the timeline. You know, a person said they was using the name April Williams, you know. I don't know how many people used that name and how many people abused me or what they did using the name April Williams, but I know I was abused in the situation. From the age of 16 years old, I met a girl and they said her name was April Williams, you know, or I met a person or I thought I met a person. I'm not sure what happened, you know. I know me, though. I know I, you know. I was told that I did what I was supposed to do. So, you know, I went to a school, met a person, you know. They say I had, you know, a GED, a high school equivalency certificate or whatever. I didn't do what the other guys did when they would all go in the room and have sex. So when they would do stuff like that, I would, I would, I would, eat, I would go somewhere else. I wouldn't, I did not participate in that stuff. So they'd be like, those girls know that when they was in the room with other guys, they'd be like, hey, where is Brandon? They'd be like, oh, he don't, he don't do, he don't, he don't do that kind of stuff like that. When the guys would all go in the room and boys would be doing sick stuff with other boys and it wouldn't be any girls there and it would just be a man with another man, they would know, oh yeah, he don't he don't really do that kind of stuff. So, you know, they always know that I don't really participate in group sick stuff like that, you know, because I would always leave and go somewhere else, you know. So, you know, when I was 16, you know, made a girl, you know, uh, it seemed like different people tried to be her or pretend to use their name or something because they was like, he won't talk to nobody unless he stayed the April girl or something like that. So I don't know what kind of crazy mistake they did, but it seemed like people tried to be her or something like that. It's just, it's just very weird, you know. Anyway, when I was 18, you know, they said the girl was 16, you know. When I was 18, you know, it seemed like she had moved in with me. I was living in this apartment on Avenue Hill. I moved to an apartment. I, I was living in this house on Avenue Hill. It was a rooming house. Then I moved to a house on Avenue I, you know. Then I moved to a house in East Thomas, the Forest Hill area, you know. It was in a Birmingham, Alabama, CB neighborhood, like, you know, the 205 zip code, Jefferson County, stuff like that. It's crazy, you know. Oh, uh, I live there, you know, because, you know, it's crazy. The girl just said she was pregnant or something like that. You know, I was like, I touched her something like, hey, you pregnant or something? It's like, it's crazy, you know? Like, I don't really know how any of this stuff works. It's just, you know, just the way it was, you know? I would go, I would, I was, I would start going to hotels, you know? I, would, I was going to hotels a lot, you know? I would go to the city of Bessemer, the budget motel. It was like, never forget where you came from. I thought I was being nice and showing love to the places that, you know, I was at, you know, helping the economy, supporting the local businesses. They said you was born in Bessemer, so, you know, spend money in Bessemer, you know. They said that you moved to Birmingham, so, you know, spend the money in Birmingham, you know. I was going to a different place, you know. They said the people was making a fool out of you, man. They used you the whole time, you know. They know you wanted a girlfriend, one girl, and you wanted to be married and stuff, and then they tried to the say that you had three churches and a family and different people did stuff, and then they sent me the, they had me going to plasma places and blood banks and stuff like that and donate blood and stuff. You know, they give you the little sticker or whatever and be like, hey, you did good. You saved the life and stuff like that. It's crazy and stuff like that. It's like they didn't really care. It's like they just kept locking me up for stuff, you know over and over again. Each time I got locked up, you know, it'd be like, oh, um, I don't know what happened to your social security check or your money. It's just disappeared. Somebody must have stole it or something. They said other people was having sex with the girl while I was in jail. And, they, you know, they said her dad or the police was her family. And, they, you know, they said she was having sex with her own family members. And it, she was the one who was getting me arrested and stuff like that. And just, you know, but they were like, you know, the name April Williams didn't have any arrest or any of this stuff on the criminal background. And they said, you're stupid, you know. If she was driving your cars and doing all this stuff and didn't have anything on her criminal background, why do you think she didn't have it on her criminal background? I don't, I don't know. I don't think bad. I wasn't thinking bad thoughts about my wife, the person who they said was my wife. It was like, you know, well, 
maybe she wasn't your wife, so you know, I don't blame my wife, but it's somebody to say their name was like Williams, you know, he did a bunch of crazy stuff. They was like, so, you know, I was in full two main circle at the Cane Creek Apartments. It was like, make a long story short, you know, it was like, I almost got killed at work, and it was like, she wasn't there with you when you was at work. She wasn't being your wife. She wasn't being your help me. If she was there with you, she could have said, Brandon, look out, and, you know, she could have helped you, and your leg wouldn't have got broke that day or whatever. What did she have to do that was so much important? It, you know, she wasn't there for you, you know. It was like, you know, I don't really know. I don't know, you know. Maybe I'm not that smart. Maybe she's not that smart. I don't know, you know. And somebody pretend to be them and stuff like that. It's just crazy, just real crazy. I'm just, I just thank God that I'm not suicidal and stuff like that. So, you know, different people start saying, they had sex with your wife, they had sex with your girlfriend, your children, that's your children, they somebody else's children. Well, they should be glad, you know. I guess they tricked me into babysitting their children for free. At least I didn't molest their children. At least I didn't have sex with their children. You know, at least I didn't abuse their children, you know. This thing, a person was 30 years old when I was born, and they gave me drugs and pills and stuff like that. From the time I was 30 years old, they said if the clock started at 30 years old, you know, I haven't gave any children any prescription, drug, medication, pills, and stuff like that, you know? No. You know? It was, like, it was like, at least you didn't do the people what they did to you, you know? I didn't cut someone's leg open the way that they did mine or whatever, you know, and stuff like that, you know? Like, do they have an excuse? Can they say that when they did that stuff to me, they were under the influence of drugs? Can they say they were under the influence of, you know, being abused and molested and people had put bad spirits in them? Can they say the same stuff? And if they do say the same stuff, you know, then why did they not respond to it the same way? You know, by not killing anyone, by not abusing anyone, by not pretending to be someone who has been in wife and having sex with them when I didn't even know what was going on, you know? You know, I didn't respond to it that way. So what's their excuse? I never made it. I never, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, you know. You know, I left those kind of Creek apartments in Warrior, uh, Alabama, you know. And uh, I went to a hotel, exactly. It's like, and it's crazy because they was like, you know, some of the people said that, you know, they wanted you to go back to Birmingham because it was like, they said one of those girls or one of them girls wasn't your wife and she was in a gang or in the group and she wanted you to go back to Birmingham so that she can hang out with the gang and say that she was with her family and say she was checking on her sister or, or have an excuse to be down there with those people that, you know, I was trying to get away from and do something. It was like, you know, like, it was like a family planned something before I was born and it was never my plan. And, it, you know, they basically abused and sexually abused my life. It's like they stole years from my life and used me as a puppy for what they wanted to do. It's like they wanted me to be dead and they was going to get some insurance money because since I didn't want to go along with the group or whatever, they said I, I was useless to them, you know. I was just, you know, I don't understand, you know. But it, it's crazy because, you know, as the years went by, you know, like, girls would start becoming single moms and single mothers and children was getting abused. It was like, well, I'm one of the only ones that didn't do any of that type of stuff. And it's like, you know, they said if everyone would have responded to the situation the way that I did, then if I never made single moms, then there would be no single moms. And if I never, you know, did that stuff that they did, it was like, if no one would have made single, it's, it's, it's single moms, it wouldn't have been any, you know, it's crazy, you know. It was like, um, when I left those apartments, you know, I went to a house in East Lake. you know, I was in there, you know, I got locked up for the children and stuff. It's, it's a record of it in family court because they would do those home evaluations. So I did have a house in East Lake, and, you know, it was like, you know, they stole my social security check. It was like, what happened to the girl that was there with you? You know, why, why would your money always be gone and, why would you always get locked up? They was like, was that your wife or was it the girl that was having sex with the police and did they set it up for you to keep getting locked up? And was they partying with your money the whole time like and stuff like that? Did they want you to die like that last time you was in Birmingham when you was at the church? It, uh, it was on the November 29th on a Sunday because she wasn't there with you is what they said. You was there by yourself and it's just like that time when the child was born and you was at that job by yourself. It's so it's strange how she leaves you alone by yourself in a situation to die 
hanging on to a piece of paper that says a marriage license. And if you died, she's the wife and she claims the insurance money. And if she was always only caring about a family and not caring about the marriage, then he was like, you know, it's a lot of people that said that they don't trust their situation or whatever. And maybe that's why the children were in need of supervision because, you know, like, you know, I don't know. It's like a lot of people say they don't even really know who your wife or what or where your wife is because they just be seeing me by myself and they say the girl that they'll be seeing with you or when they saw her with you, they was like they saw their girl running up to different police officers and different people and stuff and yelling and screaming, acting like I was the problem and stuff. But when they look at my criminal background, they like, well, they don't even have to look at my criminal background. They like, you know, you came to Georgia and uh. 2014, they say, you know, is with the record show. And it was like, it wasn't even a whole year until it was August 9th where, you know, something involving a person saying their name was April Williams, you got arrested and locked up on August 9th and was there all of 2015, all of 2016. And, you know, sometime in 2017, you had got out in the month of February. Why is it that you wasn't even in Georgia a whole year? Before they tried to lock you up or whatever. They were like, did that girl set that up? Did she set you up like that? To get arrested as soon as you came to Macon, Georgia? You didn't even get to be here a whole year. Or did her family do that? Or people that said it was something? They were like, it was definitely a setup because it's like, you know, all of these years later, it's like, you would have victims and people that you abused and did stuff to if you was an abusive person, you know? And like the children can't say that you're abusive. Nobody can't say any of this stuff. Not because they can't say it, because you didn't do it. And it was like, it's crazy because it was like, you know, they was talking about Trinity and Lord Gerald and Yatrell and stuff like that. And one time the children had told me that Trinity was being abused, you know, and they said that Willie Jensen had molested her and did something to her in the bathroom. I went over to the house, you know, and I was mad and I had bashed into the Cadillac car, you know, because they was like, don't hit a person. A material thing is a material thing, you know, and material items can be replaced. Like if it was a door or a window or a car and, you know, stuff like that. So I had bashed into the car. I went to court, you know, they had a court date because, you know, I went to jail for that. I was mad because they said he abused the child and they said it was mine. People started telling me that the children ain't mine. They said her initials, Trinity Jensen, TJ, she's TJ's child. It was like... They say a girl was sending you up to go to jail for TJ's children, and she don't even love me. She loves TJ. And it was like, and what did the girl named Trinity say? When you went to jail, she said, that's what you get. You hit my granddaddy car. That's what you get. That's what the person there said. And any, anyone that, that, that knows about this would know she did say that. And it was like, I can't keep going to jail for her and for that family in that situation. If she loved Willie Jensen so much and he her granddaddy and stuff like that or whatever, I'm not trying to break their family up. I'm not trying to stop her from loving Willie Jensen since he her granddaddy and that's his car, you know, and she, you know, didn't really care about me going to jail. It's the way that they presented the situation to me or whatever, you know. And the last time I was down there on uh November 29th of the year, they locked me up and beat me up for being at a church and I was there to see them. I'm like, I guess... All they was doing was using the church and they set me up and get me beat up and get me locked up, you know. I don't really understand. I'm crazy. But I'm not suicidal. And they was like, years and years of going through this stuff, anybody would be crazy and mentally abused, you know. And so, you know, like I said, like, I was in this apartment on 47th Street and the same thing happened there. The girl was in there, you know, she ran out the door naked and stuff like that, uh, screaming and stuff. Oh, uh, and you know it was ne I, it, it was never a, a, a history or a charge of child abuse or any domestic violence with me and the children and the girl that was there saying she her name was April Williams or whatever. They was like they said it was triggering. They was like you know all of the bragging on other dudes and bragging on other men that they see those girls with. They were like they wanted you to fight her or one of the other dudes so get jealous or something and wanted me to look like a fool. I was like, oh, I really look like a fool. I got locked up. I got my money stole. I got all the clothes stole. You know, I'm in here. Like, I don't even know how to do my hair. I probably look stupid, you know, in a wheelchair or whatever, you know. Uh, But, you know, I would always go to hotels and stuff like that, you know, because I was like, you know, it's what I was doing at first. 
when I first got in the car, you know, I was like, my plan was, you know, you know, to just go to hotels from place to place, support the local businesses or whatever. I probably would have got a house or somewhere I landed, but, you know, it was like, you know, somebody had to trick me into uh, doing stuff that I didn't want to do or whatever. So it's like, I never really wanted to do any of this stuff like that. But, you know, as far as the situation with Trinity, our trail, and Lord Jeremy and stuff like it was like, who planned the family and why did they do that? And, you know, they said the person that called herself Trinity said a long time ago, she didn't kill if I got locked up. She said, I hit her granddaddy car and she only cares about Willie Jensen. So I don't know if Willie Jensen has access to her or if she has access to him, if that was Trinity or not. But one of them girls, they said her name was Trinity Jensen because I don't know if they did the same thing with her that they did with those other girls where different people pretend to be each other. But one of them told me, you know, she acted like she hated me. And said, you hit my granddaddy car. That's what you get. That's why you went to jail. You know, stuff like that. You know, it broke my heart or whatever. So, you know, if it's TJ's daughter, then, you know, I would never try to take TJ's daughter from him. Or from her granddaddy. I would never try to take TJ's family from him. Whoever the family it is. I didn't come to take anyone's family or any of that stuff like that from him or whatever. You know, so, you know. Whatever teams or wars or groups or crews that they had going on, you know. I'm not mad at 